Hi and uh, welcome to our uh, tutorial today. Our we are going to be talking a little bit about our book, the um, this one here. Uh, it's uh, the bird book. In English, the translation title is A Field Guide to Knitted Birds, which is a perfect title for this. Good title. A great title. And you can also see on the inside, I'm so proud of this great little poster that you pull out. And here you've got all the birds that we've designed for the book. And, and show the basic pattern. And today, time. no, we're not going to do that. Today, okay. we're going to be talking about the legs, the little feet for the bird. Uh, when we were designing these, as you can see here, the bird has, it's kind of like a prosthetic that you can just attach. Whoops. You can just <laughs> attach it to the stomach easily and just squeeze it in like that and the feet are on. And the reason why we've designed it this way is because we just couldn't find a satisfactory a way to attach the feet to the bird. Oh, and since it's a knitted bird, yeah. why pretend it's something else? Exactly. It's a knitted bird. It's a knitted bird. <laughs> so um, today we thought we were going to show you how to do this because uh, a lot of people actually think that we bought this and that you can purchase these, but you can't. You have to make it yourself. And our idea now, ladies and gentlemen, is that you guys can team up, husbands and wives. So if the husband knits, the husband can knit and the wife can make the legs or the usual is obviously the woman is knitting the, and the husband is going to be helping you out, going into their little uh, workshop shed, yeah. tool shed, and making these, and this way you can involve yourself in each other's hobbies. Isn't yeah. that a great thing? That's great. Mm. <laughs> I think. So, well, I, that is great. I think it's a good thing. I mean, it's love, it's isn't it? Love. Yeah. yeah. So, what you need to do the, the legs, the prosthetics, yeah. is some wire. Wire, 1.5 millimeter, millimeter is good. Is a good, but it's not um, written in stone. You can no. use any size you want. Um, the main thing is not that... Not too thin. Not too thin, and the main thing is that um, it has to bend nicely and uh, be very sturdy. Yeah. So To keep the bird up. Yeah, so you need wire, you need some pliers. Is this a plier? I think so. Okay, and this one? You need something to shape the, the, the leg around. The round of the belly, the, the, this one. Yeah. And this is the belly. Yeah, and we found this, this is appropriate for us. Um, that, that's actually something I made. made. Oh, really? Yeah. It must have I'm been good. years ago. Like 100 years 100 ago. 100 years ago, yeah. Anyway, it's not, <laughs> again, it's not written in stone. Uh, you just need to find something that will... A piece of wood. A piece of wood that is round that you can shape it around and that will fit the bird. Uh, we can't give you a size for this because Arne made it himself. Uh, but anything that works will work. Yeah. I mean, you have to check and test it yourself. Yeah, and check your bird. Yeah. You see, on this one, I made a mark because if I put the wire on this place, it fits our bird. Yeah. So you have to check the belly of your bird. Of your bird. And finally, you need some paint. And I've got here something uh, Norwegian. It's called Bengalak. It's lac. Sikuluk lacquer. Lac in the, the English. Yeah. I know. Well, I don't know what it is in English. It's some sort of lacquer paint that is uh, kind of shiny. Mm -hmm. And it's good for metal. It's good for metal. It's good for metal, yeah. <laughs> and what you do is you... I started one, but I can make a new one. You take... Like approximately, how much is this? 50 centimeter maybe? I don't know. Mm -hmm. It depends on how long you want your legs to be. Okay. And then you just start to, sh be careful. <laughs> mm. You start to shape the claws. So you have three claws pointing in one direction. One in front and one in the back. Mm -hmm. And then you make the leg. So you shape the claws so first. So I shape the claws with the... So are you shaping the you front? Again? The plier. The plier. Are you shaping the front claws first or the back the one? The front claws. And then I just press this together and shape it. So that was number one. That was number one. And then I... And this is like one and a half centimeter maybe. But that also depends on the size of your bird. Yeah. If you want a bigger bird, if you have a bigger bird, you need bigger feet. Exactly. There are no, no exact big bird, measurements. Big feet. Yeah. And there are no exact measurements here. You will have to wing it 
and go by the proportions of your bird. And there you see, I made the second one, and then the third one. The third one is now coming. And then, when you've done all this, these four. So first you shape the front ones, and it looks like a little crown now. Yeah, so this is the tree pointing in front. And then you do one back. It's really hard to... Yeah. And then you do one in the back. Go in the opposite direction. Yeah. And ah. you bring the wire back to the center. Clever. And now you have to shape this claw so it looks a little bit nice. And then you put your, your feet up like this. So that way. So there you have your first foot and shape the direction of the leg. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then you decide the, the height of the, the foot. So is this going to be a flamingo? No, this is a normal, it's a normal, normal bird. A, uh, so it may be a robin? A robin. Or a woodpecker? Yeah, no. Yeah, maybe like a robin or... Is that a robin? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. So, there you have the first foot and you got the direction, direction of the circle that goes around your belly. Yeah. The curve. Then I place the wire where I made my mark. Which you will have to you have figure, to out, figure yourself. out yourself. And then you just make... A round. A round. Ah, oh. whoops! Don't poke anybody's <laughs> eyes out with that, please. <laughs> be careful. Right, that should be okay. Then you just copy this one. So. And do you do it the same way? You do three first, the front and then the back yeah, one? Yeah, and with the back. So I just shape it like this down again. And then I do the three pointing forward. So like the little crown first. Yeah. One. One. And then the new one. And then the third. And they don't have to look exactly the same. That's kind of sh the little charm thing. Yeah. We like charm. It's like in real life, like when you're when your one foot is a little bit bigger than your other foot <laughs> and it's completely normal, well, it's the same with these birds. They are all, you know, natural, natural. They're natural. And uh, so they have, you know, one foot bigger than the other, one leg taller so, than the other. This is almost the same. Ah. So I just shape this so they go closer to each other. And then I do the last one that is pointing backwards. And then I bring the rest of the wire to the front, like this, and then I cut off what I don't need. I have to open it to get in there. And then cut it. That should be okay. Yeah, perfect. And then I just shape the claws. And they're done. And then it looks like it. And then you have to check that it, your bird is standing. Yeah. So this has to go a little bit more towards the front. And this has to go up. And then you just squeeze it in there. Just squeeze the bird, the bird in. in and, you and it's done. It's done. And uh, yeah, you can also check so the the clothes are going straight perfect on, on the table. And now Arne has given me the task yeah. of dipping them in the lacquer paint, which yeah. uh, then you is dip and I make more feet because yeah. this is really funny to make. Yeah, and this is kind of a challenge for me because I am such a klutz, and I, so I'm terrified see. that I'm gonna make a big mess here. But we'll try. <laughs> So uh, what we do is we... That's why uh, you put paper on the table. Exactly. You open the lacquer. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> you open the, the paint and um, I think maybe... You should stir. I think I should stir this a little bit, right? Yeah. Okay, so... Um, ooh, I'm a bit shaky here. <laughs> you make it look so... 
difficult. I know, but I'm probably gonna get paint all over my hands and sweater and everything. You want me to do it? No, I'll do it. So, <laughs> I've got all these legs, as you can see, and they're all in the line waiting for, uh, <laughs> waiting to jump in. They're waiting to jump Diamond. into the lacquer. So, um, and this is because we want the feet to be black. They don't have to be black. You but, can get uh, this color in many different yeah, colors. So. Exactly. The nice thing about it is that when you dip it in this kind of lacquer that is for metal, um, it kind of closes the holes. The holes in the in the, the in the claw here, and I don't know. I mean, they just look so so cute. So let's just try uh, doing one. <laughs> Take it and you dip it gently. I guess. Uh oh. Oh, okay. So here they go. <laughs> so I'm the professional dipper. Well, in this house. Now I'm the dipper. No, you're the dipper. And I guess that what you want to do now is just let it all. Um, you turn it around a little bit. Turn it around and make sure that. Because it has to drip. Drip back into the container. So turn it, like turn it, get it all to fall back. And in. then the paint will go in all the holes. In the yeah, clothes. so I'm turning, I'm twirling, I'm turning. And you've got a great pair of black legs coming up. Then you put them upside down on the table. So let me or see. Or you can find something to hang uh -oh. on. Oh, you see, I told you. So upside down on the table, whoops. <laughs> Okay, so upside down on the table. Whoops. <laughs> you make it look so difficult. But it's not staying. Let me show you quick. No, 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 no. I'm doing this. Look, I, I have this technique. I open them a little bit. This is my job. I will make one. And it's fun. I, I make one. Look. Oh, okay. And just go around like this until it stops dripping because you you don't want to have those the uh, color running all over and then another one this is so cool this is fun You see, when you made one, you can't stop. You have to I know, I have to make, you know, I have all, I have a big you line. You should have of... one box each. Yeah. I should have closed that leg, that claw a little bit more. Okay, I can do this while you do the next one. Okay. And there we go. Oops. How fun. <laughs> this is the... I think that's it. That's it. <laughs> because now we won't talk anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so this is how you do the little prosthetic legs for the birds. Uh, tune in again soon. We will be doing a, a few more things from the bird book to show you the little accessories that you can do. So until next time, um, do thanks for watching. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and go into our blog on arnencarlos.com and get the patterns for all the projects that we do there. Bye. Bye. Okay, so one more. I need to do one more now.